Zuma TV back with another video. All right, guys. Um, before I even start this rant, because that's exactly what it's gonna be. Congratulations to Demetrius Boo Boo Andrade, um, over his victory over Jack Colke. Um, if you looked at my previous videos, I had predicted that Demetrius Andrade would wash Jack Colke, and I believed that he was gonna knock him out and finish him. However, um, watching the fight. That's not exactly what happened. Actually, it was the whole complete opposite of what I had actually predicted. Not saying that Demetrius did not win the fight, because I do believe he had did just enough to win the fight. But it was actually more close and more competitive than I ever imagined. Um, and this is an absolute shame, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if it was because, you know, jet lag... I mean, you can't even really say that because he was there like a whole week before the fight even took place. So he had to have adjusted properly to the time difference over there. You know what I'm saying? And you can't, I don't know. I, I, got, I mean, somebody could say that he was away, so he didn't feel comfortable. But he's a fighter at the end of the day. And when you're world champion, you should be able, if you're a current or former world champion then you should be able to fight all throughout the world you're not a united states champion you're a world champion so um you have you have to act accordingly that's just what i personally think um demetrius andre did not fight like demetrius andre you know what i'm saying when i look at demetrius andre and i look at um his past performances against willie nelson brian rose vanez martirosian you know um he did spectacular and he definitely showed why in those three fights I had just mentioned, why he is a top dog at 154 pounds. Um, and I know it's not because Jack Colke is that good because – he didn't show anything up there that really impressed me. I mean, he was he was working a uh, consistent work rate and uh, trying his best to keep himself in the fight, which he did. Um, not enough to win, but he had done enough to make the fight competitive. But there was nothing Koke did that actually surprised me in any kind of way. That guy is nothing spectacular in my opinion. Um, if y'all disagree, feel free to comment, you know what I'm saying? But that's just personally what I think. Demetrius Andrade, I, I don't know what he was doing, man. It looked like he wasn't made that that uh that left hand that he that he's usually on the money with wasn't really landing as hard as it usually does. Um I don't know, man. I just feel I feel like this wasn't Andrade at all and this was a terrible performance in my opinion. Now, if this would have been any other fighter that isn't really known too well or um isn't really admired for his skill set, then yeah, this would have been a okay night for that person, but considering that this is Demetrius Andrade and he has such a um decorated amateur profile and he's been former world champion and how he's been dominating the competition he has been facing and has showed that he is a top dog in his weight class um with that with all of that being said this was a terrible performance for him i was expecting him to do a lot better and um if you listen to my previous video i was actually praising demetrius andre and i still do because i just think that this was an off night but i'm kind of disappointed that Demetrius Andre left the ring the way he did. I don't. Th I think he could have did a lot more. But um, a lot of people blame it on the inactivity. You know, it's been a while since um, he has stepped back in the ring. I think I, I don't even know. Uh, I think <sighs> when did he fight? I think that was when Ruslan had faced John Molina. I I'm not sure. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. When was the last time he fought? Because I know he was a uh, he was a co-main event, and there was something. I think it was Matisse and Ruslan. I, I'm not sure, but y'all, y'all, let me know what y'all guys think about Demetrius Andre's performance. Me personally, I wasn't too satisfied with it. Um, definitely left a bitter taste in my mouth. But y'all, let me know what y'all think about this. This is Mizuma TV, and I'm out.